Hello, how are you doing? Welcome back to some more F1 Manager 2023 in another part of the Williams Road to Glory career mode. Today we are back with the United States Grand Prix or the first United States Grand Prix uh, in Miami. It's going to be a, a, a good race this one miami was always a terrific one in f1 manager 22 so i'm looking forward to it fingers crossed uh, we can improve on baku i think overall it it probably goes down as a bit of a disappointing race we of course did very very well in the sprint race uh, managing to get some points in in that finishing seventh with albon and uh, we were running seventh and eighth for a large proportion of that sprint before uh, sergeant um, a sergeant's tyres went off and he eventually finished 13th in the race uh, we only actually managed to finish a 13th and well with Albon and a DNF for Logan Sargent so not not fantastic from either of those but uh, yeah hopefully you're enjoying the series so far I'm having a, an absolute whale of a time with this game and it's it's so fresh playing it on console as well it, it just adds to it I suppose um, but yeah leave a like if you are enjoying it. it has been amazing to see the support on the series so far so thank you very much for that um, really do appreciate it. it it's it's doing so well and, and it's all thanks to you guys so uh, keep that coming another two videos today we'll see how we're going uh, over the next few days as well because um well from monday i am actually going away for a week uh to london funnily enough so yeah uh hopefully i'll manage to get two videos a day out uh while i'm away as well but uh fingers crossed keep that support coming i really do appreciate it anyway let's get ourselves immersed into the action we have got uh, quite a bit to get through uh in this uh, opening segment if you like of the video because we need to fix the car that logan Sargent very rudely broke in the last episode both of them are missing car parts now well should we go to the inbox that's probably the first place to look um i don't really need to look at that the atr starts today okay gearbox poor condition for uh logan Sargent. Ah, here we go then. So, car one's lost its chassis, front wing, and suspension. Car two has lost its chassis, front wing, rear wing, and suspension. And the gearbox does need replacing. And he did go back into the, the wall, didn't he? Uh, there's the F2 race. So, Teo Porsche um, won, the, won the feature race. Also was second in the sprint race which is pretty incredible qualifying as well okay interesting so tail porsche doing well we've got confidence check in there medium there uh driver development update there that's all good uh albon's moving up in the world as is sergeant april in formula one got another one there from um Otmar uh, Safna. New chassis design, okay. Spotlight on Aston Martin. Okay, fair enough. Okay, cool. I do like those little uh, little things there. Right, let's move on then. So we need to sort this out a little bit, don't we? Yeah, we need to... We've got the new one coming in, haven't we? So... Sounds good. Suspensions. Yeah, we can get one on both cars. I think everything else looks fine. Yeah. In terms of the powertrain, we need to swap that out on car two. Um, yeah, I need to go back now onto this. Uh, he needs a rear wing. We've got another one of the new rear wings that's fine everything else looks fine and dandy okay gearbox swap out yep yeah, pop in the new gearbox there that's fine you yeah, might actually um yeah, i would would say a new ers but 
Mm. Yeah, we're going to have to go for new ones at some point. Yeah, we might just go for a full fresh power unit and gearbox for Logan Sargent. See if it makes any difference to his performance. I think that's all good then. Okay, cool. I think everything else is fine. Uh, we haven't got any scouting going on at the moment. What could we do with? If we look at staff, yeah, probably a new head of aerodynamics, to be honest. So let's have a little little look at that. Now, all of these... Ah, okay, some of them are more open to negotiations than others. This guy's a, a free agent. Martin Werner, we had him a, a lot last year, didn't we? Yeah, we might try him. Try and get that going. Um, yeah, maybe a, a, another race engineer as well. Just to try and up the ante a little bit. Lots of these are in F2. Amory Laden. Let's give him a go. 31 years old. He's 81 rated. Okay. Right. Oops. How are we doing on the car parts development? We're not designing much at the moment. Do need to manufacture... What bits don't we have? A lot of... We don't have any of that suspension. So yeah, should we get some of the new suspension in there? That's fine. Cool. And then for designs. Let's get some designing going. Another underfloor. Uh, we're actually going to put quite a bit of emphasis on this upgrade yeah let's go into this next section so now we're putting all of that in we can make this a, a better upgrade yeah so we could do with um, I, I, that one might be the medium speed one might be Quite a good one to go for. Yeah, that looks quite good to me. Yeah, just have that generic, that's fine. Right, how long is this going to take? 33 days. Okay, that's fine. We'll put four engineers on it. And then we can research a new front wing. I'm not even sure we've got the current front wing on, have we? I think that's one of the things we've not actually managed to have a look at yet. Which is a pity. Uh, do we want just a general upgrade? Yeah, let's just go for a general upgrade there. One engineer can work on that. It's going to take 45 days. And we'll get one engineer working on the other one. For the rest of the days. That's fine, I don't mind about that. Uh, 
Yeah, let's go for another straight line speed focused one. All good. Right, we got four things in development. That's awesome. Uh, yeah, what do we want to do here? I think we want speed, really. Yeah, let's do that again this month. That's all good. Right. Continue on. Underfloor complete. So I think we can get that on both cars now. Yeah, that is on both cars. That's fine. Um, just want to check where we're up to with all of this. So, that chassis is that under manufacture? That needs manufacturing. Yep, four of them, please. Well, should we get two on an emergency? Yeah, that's fine. Um, install, install, and then we'll get two more normally made. That's okay. That's fine. Right, rear wing, that's good. Side pods is fine. Underbody's fine. Yeah, that's already fine. Okay. Let's move on then. Design complete. That's for the suspension. Alright. Should we... Oh, should we make... Ah, we've got no... Things left, have we? That's annoying. That's fine. We might as well put these guys on it rather than have them idle. Let's get some research done. That'll help us out a little bit with next year's car. Okay. I think we're all good here. Right, let's uh, head to the performance target. So reach Q2 again is the, the target. We'll say reach Q3 with one of them. Both of them finish there. That's fine. Uh, for race position, didn't actually do that well with that one last time, but we'll say both drivers are finishing the top 15, and that's all good for me. Right, head on to the Miami Grand Prix. It's going to be a good one, as I say. Once again, we touch down in Miami as F1 returns to the Magic City. Miami Gardens is transformed into the Miami International Autodrome, built here especially for the Grand Prix. It's a thrilling street circuit where one wrong move can end in disaster, but for those who can conquer its literal ups and downs, victory is all the sweeter. Miami has long, tight, straight sections that need as much driver confidence and precision as a corner, as well as three hard braking zones. The chicane through turns 14 to 15 is particularly likely to catch drivers out and throw them into a wall. Red Bull have outscored their rivals to be at the top of the constructors' table right now. There are still plenty of rounds left to fight for that title, though. What will happen this weekend? Only time will tell. Okay, right. Um, we were notorious for having rain here last year. Let's just have a quick look at expected strategies. Mm, Two-stopper could be good. Soft two-stopper. Mm. Yeah, we'll have a think about that. Right, I'll see you guys for qualifying one, and hopefully we'll have a nice fit car. Okay, there we go then. 95% for Alex Albon, 94% for Logan Sargent. We're doing pretty well with uh, our setup satisfactions this season so far. So let's uh, see where that leaves us. So high confidence for Alex Albon and just dipping into the high confidence there for Logan Sargent as well. Brilliant to see. 
Welcome to qualifying. Let's find out if all that practice will pay off for the drivers. Drivers need to get into Q3 if they want to make the top half of the grid. With only 10 slots available, it's a fight nobody wants to lose. Karun, how do you think Logan Sargent's going to be feeling at the moment? Looking at the lap times, we saw a real lack of pace from them in practice. They never looked quite comfortable with the setup and they'll need to try something new for qualifying if they want to get past Q1. So stay with us, folks. It's sure to be a good one. OK, right. Uh, let's head into Q1 and, well, look at this again. I'm going to change all of this out. Um, yeah, it wouldn't let us continue on. So that's fine. We'll pop in a new power unit for Alex Albon. And hopefully should be all right when we go into qualifying. So here we go. Let's uh, manage Q1 and hopefully we'll be able to get through to Q2. As I say, that's a, that's a big one for us. Alex Albon will be the first to grace the Miami circuit during qualifying and get out Logan Sargent as well ready here check yes copy yeah okay. clear. you hear me okay brilliant right let's uh, move that on and uh, we'll watch uh, Alex Albon I think on this flying lap should be a clean up of Miami. And yeah, there's a Haskar not too far in okay, front. Okay, that is good. And go push, go push. And hopefully Logan Sargent's going to be in a great position. Lots of grip on this track, so should be having some fast time straight away here. task car just in front but as as I say we should be able to get past fairly easily here and that's fine kept that in there now sergeant might not be so lucky here he's very much not going to be lucky this is going to be right in the slow section Might be okay. It's two purples here, Logan Sergeant. That's bonkers. Don't know how much by. 20.9 for Albon. In that middle sector, 20.8. Yeah, well. Sergeant going quicker here. And here we go, up to the line then. It's going to be Alex Albon with a 31.1. And what so can Sergeant do here? Cap. It's a 30.9. Two yes. tenths quicker. Logan Sergeant there. Make sure you respect the delta. Go in, go in. Oh. Coffee. Very surprising. Very good lap from Logan Sergeant, actually. Okay. It's, uh, mm. We haven't got that many sets, have we? For some reason, we've still got a. A medium compound. Yeah, this isn't good. So Albon is going to be in a bit of trouble here. And well, we're fifth and sixth at the moment. Don't quite know how that's happened. Very, very strong. There you go, lots of people have gone above us now, but it's not it's over yet. Right, pop Albon out there. Wait for all those guys to get past, so Sergeant had a little bit of room to manoeuvre. Right, so here we go then, Albon. He's uh, pretty close to the, the end of this lap. Two greens 
from him so far. Now he's coming around this final corner. Needs a big lap here. Does Alex Albon with a minute to go? He's going to come over the line. And it's a 30.9. It's not enough to get past Sargent, though. P12. Only P12. Just a and here in comes in okay. Logan Sargent on his. It's quite busy there. Be careful, mate. Here comes his flying you go push. You go push. And Alex Albon. It's going to be one of the people in the way. I think don't fight teammate is definitely something we need to say. Hopefully he gets well out of the way. Yeah. Yeah. Nicely through. And now middle sector. And Sergeant find a bit extra here. Okay, check flag. But Bottas and Joe, they're not improving. Albon's not improving. Norris and Piastri are not improving. Neither is uh, Sergeant at this rate, but I think we're going to get both cars through, which is going to be massive. And yeah, I think Sergeant's through, so I don't think there's any point in him continuing that lap, so we'll just ease off now. Save a little bit on those tyres and head into the pits. And we're through to Q2 with both drivers quite comfortably again. Well, certainly settle for that. Certainly settle for that. As Russell uh, splits Albon and Sargent now. And Kevin Magnussen is the last man over the line. I could do anything. Magnussen does go over the line, goes 14th. Can Sonora get himself out of trouble? No. Okay. So, very, very good first qualifying session for Williams. Sonora, Piastri, Bottas, De Vries, and Joe Guan Yu all out of qualifying. Okay. Yeah, Albon needs a. Uh, scrub a scrub lap we'll do the same with sergeant get sergeant out there first yeah, try and get albano out there as well right let's uh Let's just zoom this through this first lap, see where they end up. They come through, and that's a 30.9 again from Albon. Okay, go in, go in. And Sergeant, a uh, 31.1, Hamilton slower. So, boxing this lap then. Okay. Okay. Right. So, Sergeant's obviously got a, a new set of soft tyres and so does Albon I'm kind of tempted to try and get Sergeant a bit of a slipstream because there's no point Al Albon really getting through here and as it stands we are currently through right so There we go. Ah, I meant it the other way around. Damn it. So, Sergeant. Ah, oh, well. Okay, so getting your tyres there. Copy. That's all good. Sergeant should get a nice slipstream off Pierre Gasly anyway. It's clear. It's clear. So, let's so see how he gets on in this qualifying session. Straight out, check his clip. Brand new tyres no on for both drivers. And as it stands, we're currently 9th and 10th. Obviously, the two Mercedes cars will make it through. I would imagine one of the Haas cars will 
out us, but uh, if there is a red flag or something, then we are we have got both cars through with our bank of times. Now, first sector, Sergeant going to get through there first. It's orange for Sergeant. It's orange for Albon as well. How are they not improving here? I just don't get it. They should get past the Aston Martin. Quite fine. Don't think Albon will look. It's orange again for both sectors. It's not good. As I say, scrubs, scrub tyres must be the way to go in this year's game because these brand new tyres are not bringing us anything. Hopefully we get a lovely little strip, slipstream here. And maybe we'll improve a little bit here. And it's Logan Sargent flying round first as he heads up to the line and uh, that's a slight improvement in the end you can't hit key 10 and Albon it's a good lap go in improves Open. as well but I, I don't think that'd be enough surely the Mercedes will get through well we'll see anyway won't we Russell's just behind us, he has to fight through our drivers. Yeah, I think Russell could be in trouble. Russell comes up to the line. Is it going to be enough for him? Comes over the line. Where's he going to go? He's out. Russell's out. Hamilton now. He's had to get past some traffic. I think at least one of our cars is going to get through here. Because Hulkenberg's going slowly. What about Hamilton? Can Hamilton displace Logan Sargent here? He's over the line. And he does. Well, that's not what we wanted. Get him. Get him. <laughs> oh. oh, that's yes, annoying. But me. Sargent's through. Well, P11, I think that's pretty good for him. <sighs> so scrubs well we we unlock one further set of soft tires i suppose don't we but um yeah we've definitely found being on scrub tires seems to to help in this game so let's see what we can do on our first flying lap we'll send albon out there oops Build the front tire, Tim. Yep, copy. Let's see what he can pull off. He's had to go past Verstappen, so I'm not expecting anything here. Oh, a 30.8. That's his best time so far. As I say, it's scrub tyres that seem to, to do that for you. Let's just check what they're on. Yeah, they're all on scrub sets. Interestingly. Hmm. Oh, hang on. That very close to messing that up there, wasn't wasn't it? Right, brand new tyres. Okay, I think if uh, Albon goes out now, he shouldn't have any. Troubles of traffic. Nearly messed it up again there. Yeah, this should be okay. We'll uh, we'll ride on board with him. Let's see what he can do here. So I think we'll be clear. And then it'll be go push before the last corner. Seems to go quicker when we sort of skip him, actually. Let's see. Uh, orange in the first sector. What is he? Flag is out. How does he manage in the second sector? Orange again. So he's not going to improve. It's actually going to be a very slow lap, isn't it? Goodness me, he's in the 32s. I just don't understand. Do not understand it. 
But uh, we're going to be ninth if Hamilton doesn't improve. Hamilton coming over the line. And of course he improves. He's P8. P10. So P10 for Alex Albon. And uh, well, well, we'll settle for it through Q3 again. Uh, but it's Max Verstappen on pole position. Sergio Perez second. Lance Stroll continuing his very good season. He qualifies fourth ahead of his teammate Alonso in sixth. The teams are making their final preparations down in the pit lane ahead of today's race. The Miami Grand Prix arrived onto the calendar in 2022 with much fanfare, and F1 history is still very much being written here. Drivers have to take chances around the street circuit and hope those chances turn into victory. And the weather today is sunny. These are ideal conditions for the drivers to shine. The Autodrome is ready for some serious action today here at the Miami Grand Prix. Okay, let's get ourselves into the Grand Prix then. Uh, let's have a look at these different tyre strats. I think a one-stopper is probably going to be the best way to go, to be fair. Um, I don't think... Well, looking at Albon's compounds, he only ha well, he doesn't have any new soft tyres to use today. I think um, Sergeant has two. So maybe with Sargent we can go for the aggressive two-stopper. But for Albon it has to be the, the one-stopper. Um, yeah, don't I don't know if we can go any more aggressive. Well, they seem to think we can. They think that's going to be 15 seconds quicker. We'll give it a go. Um... Yeah, I'll try without the extra fuel this time. Now, this is the thing. Sergeant can definitely go for it a little... Oops. A little more, can't he? Apparently that's the way to go. Yeah, I'd always rather have a little bit in reserve. That's fine. Okay. So they're, they're going to have very different race strategies, but... Oops. Should hopefully be in a very good place. Uh, be aggressive with him at the start. So let's get ourselves into this Grand Prix. Two stop F for Logan Sargent and the uh, long one stop F for Alex Albon. Here we go for the Miami Grand Prix. Seven laps await our competitors here in Miami. So may the best driver win. The calm composure of Sergio Perez amongst the hustle and bustle of the grid. A second place start for them today. They'll be aiming for a podium, but could they even sneak the win? And the time has come. Let's go racing. Here we go with the Miami Grand Prix. Here we go then. And it's lights, lights out. out away oh, we, go we go for Max Verstappen. What a start off the grid again. He is imperious at the start. And it's Carlos Sainz that's gone down the inside of championship leader. Um, Sergio Perez into turn one and he's split the Red Bulls Lance Stroll off to a very good start as well followed by Leclerc then Pierre Gasly down in P6 and Hamilton and Ocon P7 and 8 Alonso P9 and Alex Albon P10 at the moment on his hard tyres he's going to struggle to uh, stay in front of Lando Norris at this point uh, let's just have a little look at tyres that people have selected. Uh, Albon, the only one on hards. Quite a few on medium tyres at this point. Um, let's make sure that we are aggressive and always defend. I'm going to do the same with uh, okay. Logan Sargent as well. Keep everything. Copy. Okay. 
very, very decent start to this race. Now, I, I would like to let Sergeant through here. It's going to be very difficult to be able to do that without letting Norris through as well. stick there for now because Alex Albon P10 I think that's probably the best that we can get out of today to be fair it is the solitary point that's kind of what we're playing for yeah, let's um, let's go for neutrals on both of their ERS plans this Albon is simply not going to be able to to pull that off but here we go there's uh, Norris around the outside he's through so I think that means straight away anything can happen Albon needs to lad past Logan Sargent I'll try and do that Very good, and look at that, he's uh, held up the Mercedes as well. And that's perfect, that lets Sargent go on his aggressive two-stop strategy. Albon presumably will get that back later on when he's got a, a bit more um, time because of the... The lack Copy. of time lost in pit stops. DRS enabled. So let's use it's a little bit of ERS with Sergeant, the and there goes Russell past Alex Albon. No point even trying to defend these positions. Albon, of course, on the hard tyres. He's going to struggle early in this race. We know that. Look. Okay. That's what we find. Okay, here comes uh, George Russell. He's going to have a Good run at Holden Sergeant this lap. Tempted to just go neutral on the tyres here. Just focus on your tyres. Very copy that. I'll just try and make them go a little bit longer. And let's zoom it through. I think Russell will make it through. Oh, he, he has done. He made it round the outside. What an overtake that is. From no. George Russell. Come down, come down, mate. You're good. Let's have a look. Let's have a look at the action. It's all at the final corner. Did have his uh, there for the taking. move around the outside, and there goes George Russell. Around the outside, easily through in the end. And now Sergeant can hopefully follow through with George Russell. Nico Hulkenberg starting to close in now. All of a sudden it's going wrong. Because Arbon's going to drop back to the back. The sergeant's not even able to be aggressive. Through. Keep pushing. Well, Bottas has passed Albon now. 
Albon definitely in a sticky situation on those hard tyres, down to 17th position now. Yeah, just not great, is it? And Sergeant out of DRS range to Hulkenberg. Ugh. Oh, somebody's. Honestly, stupid from them. You okay? Is Albon okay? What's yeah, happened? Friend. What's happened? Is Albon out? Turn 11 now. Dangerously close to each other. Oh, it, yeah. That was, pretty risky. It, that was that was Piastri there. Um, and he's got a bit of damage. Yeah. Hmm. There's not a lot we can do about that though. So just have to keep going. Do we have a problem? Yeah, we'll have a look. And Albon just has to deal with it, to be honest. Yeah, there's not, not really anything we can do. Meanwhile, Sergeant is going to struggle to keep in front of Magnussen and Sonoda. I'm not quite sure where our pace has gone. It's a little bit like the Bahrain race, actually, where we just really struggled for, for pace. Keep pushing, keep pushing. He's lost his front wing end plate, hasn't he? I suppose that's a big issue, but the problem is he, he needs to stay on these tyres. Um, I suppose the only other thing is he has got two mediums and the hards are dying as well, so yeah, maybe he does need to come in then. Yeah. Okay, so boxing this lap. Okay, so. Okay, box, box. We'll see what Albon can do from there. So let's see how he gets on in the pit stop. Can we have a nice clean one, please? Push Sergeant's engine a little bit. Like to reduce slight like, cool. Yeah, confirm. That's a pretty decent uh, stop. 8.5 seconds. Yeah, we'll settle for that. Okay. I think that's all good. So I'm coming about lap 31, 32. I can't anymore. And he should be all right. Head down. Let's Meanwhile, see happened, Logan Sargent has this been overtaken. Yuki Sonoda. There's the opening. Yeah, the race pace today has just been shocking for some reason. As I say, it's very similar to the uh, Bahrain race, isn't it? But let's see if Sergeant can get back past here. He's got DRS. Overtake is available. Cover that. This could be the moment. Sergeant gets himself back past. No, not this time. Okay. Yeah, I think he's already dropped out of the DRS range, and yeah, I just don't quite understand it. No other races, we've been perfectly fine. It kind of doesn't make any sense whatsoever, really. Yeah. Right, let's uh, get them back on balance. There's no point in them running out of fuel, is there? 
Uh, Magnussen straight away overtakes. Yeah, not far away from pit window, territory for Logan Sargent. So let's fully attack now. I'll try it, man. I don't worry, that's fine. Come on. No. No, he's just miles off. Yeah, possibly need to just get in. Get onto the medium tyres and get back going in this race. It's got DRS on Nick De Vries. I can't do anything. I don't. Pit entry. Yes. So into yes, the pits yeah. comes. Logan Sargent. It's actually going to be behind Alex Albon here. 2.5 seconds, that's uh, one of our best this season actually. I'll take that. Nice. Well done. Off a bit, please. Okay. Right, both trundling round at the back here. And then what we could do with is a nice safety car. Sergeant's come out behind Nick De Vries. He even had an undercut to help him there. I just don't get why we're so slow. I really don't. You know, even Albon's pretty slow. And Sergeant's just miles off the place. For some bizarre reason. So Albon up the 16th now. And Albon's getting himself back into it at, at this point, but Sergeant's still Going pretty slow. Albon just three seconds behind. Oh, group. De Vries is going to catch and pass Albon here. Yeah, straight through. I just don't quite understand. Oh, there's a red flag. That's red flag. And it's Albon. It's Albon again. Here we are then at the eleventh corner. It's Another crash. Room here. Yeah. And oh you can see well. How the cars come together. An unfortunate moment, yes. But as any driver will know, this is an unforgiving sport. Yeah, maybe we need to back off on the aggression. So, um, twenty minutes until restart. So Sergeant's still in the race. Might as well switch onto the hard tyres. I think that will possibly take him to the end. Um, in terms of car parts, he's probably okay. All right. Here he goes then. So red flag. Our race here resumes as we get back underway. Some people have gone for the hards. A couple of people have gone for the mediums. It's lights out. That's lights out. Oh, away we, we go. go here. For lap 26 of this Grand Prix. I'm looking at those tyres and they will last to the end of the race. So, Sergeant now. His plan is to take this all the way to the end. He's in 14th at the moment. 
He's side by side with uh, Nick De Vries. Don't think he's going to make that move stick. But that's okay. Right, he has a bit more fuel in his tank. When you slide, go on board. Copy. That's, that's all good. Right. Use the rest. I'm thinking tactics-wise, let's just go on medium and neutral here. Because there's no real need to be aggressive. But we were needing to be aggressive in Baku. Because we had the pace at that point. And hopefully that now means that the sergeant will at least get to the end of the race. And I think he is quicker than Piastri and Zhou Guan Yu and Bottas. And quite a few people have gone on to the hard tyres, as I say. But uh, soft tyre runners, they're definitely not going to be able to go to the end. There's 31 laps left. So let's keep an eye on that interval. We'll zoom it forward a bit because... Yeah, I mean, Sergeant's still fighting with Nick De Vries here. He's actually a little bit quicker at this stage. A long race. That's so fine. Keep focus. His confidence down at medium at the moment. That's uh, De Vries. Hang on. Yeah. I was thinking that engine sounds different to what I'm used to. Yeah, quite happy to leave that on neutral. Let's keep going. Yeah, it didn't last long. He was he was quick for a little bit, but only with the ERS, I think. Bought us back through. And it's all going to be basically about whether, uh, you know, Sergeant can stay within a pit stop of these guys and then hold on towards the end. That's essentially what this is about now. Well, he's holding off Zhou Guan Yu for now. It's giving him a bit more confidence. And he's only two seconds behind Nick De Vries here. He could potentially make another position up. But yeah, I'm just gutted about Alex Arbon and another Smashed up car. And now Sergeant's starting to pull away from Joe. Which I'm assuming is down to tyres, yeah. Surely down to tyres. And maybe that's where he can make his big gains here. Oh, Joe Guan Yu is back. How's he managed that? That's the thing, Sergeant just seems to have a, a few laps where he's good and then he just drops off again. He was closing in on Nick De Vries not so long ago. Right, 20 laps to go. Let's give it a bit of welly, shall we? Come on. If we can... Stay more than a second ahead of Joe Guan Yu. There's Hulkenberg in the pits. But he's on brand new tyres. That's where the, the problems are going to lie. Because Hulkenberg's almost... Well, he's, he's almost on top of us already. This is bonkers. Bottas in the pits. I don't think it'll be long before he's on top of us either. 15 laps to go here. P14 as it stands. I'm fully expecting uh, Hulkenberg to pass, and he has done that. So good tyres, so 71% for Sergeant. And this is where you can maybe think about 
being a bit more aggressive towards the end of the race when he's still got a little bit of tyre life left. Zhou Guan Yu in and out of the pit lane. 10 seconds is Bottas's deficit to Logan Sargent currently. Come on, Logan. Keep going. Keep going, son. There is potentially a World Championship point on offer if if everything goes to pot for some of the, the guys in front. He needs to keep going. Jean Run winds 10 laps to go. Yeah, looking at these tyres. Sonora, De Vries. Their tyres are going to fall off the, the cliff very, very soon. Bottas closing in, but not not rapidly. Yeah, just need a little bit longer, then we can attack. Sergeant's starting to close in on De Vries. He's within three and a half seconds again now. 11th really isn't that far away. Six laps to go. Bonas closing in as well. Oh, need to watch the, the fuel. Yeah, really need to watch the fuel actually. I'm going to go for it. We're going to go aggressive now with Sergeant. And Hamilton's came into the pits. He's going to finish behind us. How are the tyres looking? Norris on 19% here. We're not that far behind. Right. Let's cut to live. Here comes Logan Sargent past Nick De Vries. He's doing awesome. Well played. Come on. He can be aggressive with overtake his edge. Uh, let's see where he can finish this car. Sonoda's not far in front. He's on pretty old tyres. Norris's tyres are going to absolutely fall off the cliff. Norris is really struggling out there. There's Norris. Yeah. That's an order. And we are... Well, I'm assuming that's Piastri. That we're going to... Blue flag there. Yep, very good. Okay, three laps to go here. Back into neutral. Bottas is also in this fight. 3.1 seconds is the gap. Just need to keep pushing. And Norris is surely the one that's struggling the most. Hulkenberg's back into the top 10 somehow. He, of course, pitted, so he's got better tyres than most people. But surely Norris is running risk of a puncture here. He has got barely any tyres. He's essentially running without tread at this point. There's Sergeant now 2.1 behind. Closing right in. And we've got two laps to go after this one. I don't think we've been lapped. check yeah gap to leader no we're on the lead lap so we have got two laps to go here that's going to be horrible for Log uh, for Lando Norris to hear <laughs> because he yeah there's no way there's no way he's going to keep that going so two if there is go. a problem in that top 10 on this final lap it's it's very Noah's arc at the moment don't quite know how that's happening it's the first time in a while that it has then Sergeant could be in with a chance here. 
Max Verstappen starts his final lap of the Miami Grand Prix. It's all coming up for Logan Sargent here. But he needs to be very, very careful of his fuel. That is something he needs to be aware of now then. Can he make the move stick on Yuki? Not yet. Yeah, gonna have to go on conserve. We want to leave court, please. Copy. I'm gonna deploy the ERS to try and compensate. This has got to be the chance. DRS open. So what? DRS. Copy. And this is where we get a large proportion of it back. Or should have done. Oh no, no, sorry, the white. Ah, what's. No! Bottas is right there as well. Oh, this is not good. Keep pushing. Right, we're gonna have to go balanced. That's your last lap, mate, last lap. So, can we get up to P11? Don't worry, don't worry. I think, let's uh, say hi. Lift and, and always defend. Come let's on. let's be aggressive on this final lap. Come on. Yep. Max Verstappen over the finish and Max Verstappen line has won. Here we go. He's gonna go for it. He's gonna absolutely go for it here, Logan Sargent. If he can get past. Sonoda, this could be an awesome manoeuvre. He's got to get past uh, Lando Norris. How has he not managed that? Well, he doesn't deserve it then, does he? Yeah. Right, here we go then. Reduce the lift and cook. Yeah, I, I cannot believe he's not even going to manage to get past Lando Norris here. Surely he can. Surely he can go down the inside here. Lewis Hamilton in with a chance as well. But it's going to be a battle up to the line. Is Sergeant going to win it? No! How? Don't worry about it. Uh, that's okay, bonkers. Well, line. finishes 13th in the 30. end. Ah, what a shame. Good, what a shame. Yeah, good job. Thanks, but guys. Um, it was an exciting finish. We've run out of fuel just past the line again. Fuel there just enough. And, well, what's that broken in? I'll be honest now. Yeah, there you go. Very good. Optimist to find anything good about Alex Albon's race. Having to retire early will no doubt be a bitter disappointment. But today is done and it's all about looking forward. And no doubt the Stappen fans will be celebrating the Dutchman's achievements. The third win of the season has to leave them and the team feeling confident. And after a hot and sweaty Miami Grand Prix, Max Verstappen, well, uh, he's not going to quite off. take the lead of the, the championship, but he is closing in fast on Sergio Perez. And Red Bull dominating the season just like they are now, in real life. No doubt there'll be a lot for the teams to process after that race, but how do you think the Williams team are feeling? It was a strangely mixed weekend for them. We saw one driver put in a strong performance. But it was a different story for the other. Definitely positives there, though. Okay, very With good. A weekend in Miami now draws to a close. Now the teams will be looking ahead to Imola, where the season progresses with the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix. Get ready for some fierce competition. Very good, very good. Well, Max Verstappen wins the Grand Prix ahead of Perez 
in second. Uh, Carlos Sainz finishes third, uh, ahead of uh, Charles Leclerc in fourth. Stroll finishes ahead of Alonso, Gasly ahead of Ocon, and then Russell ahead of Hulkenberg at the end of the top 10. Uh, a shame for Logan Sargent in the end to not uh, finish ahead of Lando Norris. Uh, I think he deserved to, but never mind. Uh, Sergio Perez is currently the man leading the championship, 10 points ahead of his teammate Max Verstappen. Leclerc is third ahead of Sainz. And Stroll has usurped Fernando Alonso to fifth place. Um, other than that, I think everything is virtually the same. Alfa Romeo, the only team to be completely pointless at the moment. Okay, in terms of fastest pit stops, I thought we might sneak into the top 10 today, but no, not a chance, and we're still bottom of that championship. It was a 2.558 second pit stop for uh, Logan Sargent earlier in the race. Right, uh, decent in qualifying and practice. Certainly seems to be more of a qualifying car than a race car at present. And maybe we need to look at the cooling as a way of improving our race outcomes. I, I don't know, maybe that's uh, going to be a thing. But uh, yeah, next time out looks like it's going to be a busy one. We've got some front wings, uh, suspensions, all of that manufactured. Um, and uh, we're ready for the Emilia Romagna Grand Prix at Imola. So looking forward to that. Hopefully you guys are too. If you have enjoyed this video, give it a big thumbs up down below. Subscribe for plenty more F1 Manager videos. And I hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Thanks for watching and goodbye.